Hey, Bunny, guess what? What? No, you have to guess. You have to actually guess. <laughs> wow. Sparkling wine. No, no, Pizza. no, no, no. My Colorado companion, my unconventional conventionist. <laughs> It's homework time once again on the Pope on Film podcast. <clears throat> People of the internet, your attention, please. Cease your dub step stepping and your complicated tabletop gaming and kindly pay attention. <laughs> wow, a highly complicated $89 board game with 127 pieces that will take 45 minutes to learn and two to four hours to play. Wow, sign me up. That totally doesn't sound like torture. <laughs> I'm really excited to play Yawns of Catan with you for six hours. That's, that's a fun half of my day. Each week, the dreaded Council of Bunnies descends from their citadel in the skies and chooses a homework assignment via the fiery witch ritual of carousel. Yes. A homework assignment that has been painstakingly chosen via an undefined generic 1970s sci-fi description. <laughs> in the hopes of bettering our podcast's listeners, nay, all radio per personalities everywhere. But not you, Garrison Keeler. No. I need your hands where I can see them. <laughs> the bad guy? What are you talking about? The bad guy is the father of one of the superheroes. Are you talking about Inside yes! Out? In Inside Out? <laughs> Oh, you're not talking about Inside Out? Yes, I am. Miraculous! What are you talking about? Uh, that stupid cartoon. What, Inside Out? Yes, yes. Oh, you are talking about Inside Out. Okay. That's okay. I'm so okay. confused that whole plot. I, 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 I watched Randall. I'm sitting there watching the first okay. Oh, the you're talking. Episode. Natasha's, uh, uh, for those of you just. Uh, no, no. Okay. I text Randall. Yes. I'm watching the very first episode. After I had watched three episodes, like, mid-season, because Maxwell had it on, the origin stories, okay. whatever. So, then I watched the first episode, and I'm like, huh, so it's his dad. And I was like, <laughs> Randall, it's his dad. And he was like, way to give me spoilers, bitch. <laughs> okay, okay, but... It, it's obvious in the first episode. Okay, but, like, no, no one knows what you're talking about. And that's fine. No. Okay. I'm not going to explain it. Neither is Steve. Okay. Just know, okay. no, no, okay. there. Just know I won't that the bad guy is one of the superheroes' dads. Okay. The bad guy is one of the superheroes' dads. Okay. Yeah. Runaways. Runaways. Yeah. It's a it's a Marvel based TV show that's now on Hulu, and it's in it's an interesting show in the sense that there's all these young kids, young teens, and they live in this nice neighborhood, and they're BFFs. And one day, they accidentally realize that all of their parents are part of are uh, super villains who are uh, joined in in this evil organization that are trying to take over the world. So they run away together, all of the teens, okay. a bunch of them die. The, the parents are hunting them down, but it's an interesting story because it's it's a very ground it's very grounded and it, realistic, and you really feel for these kids. And then suddenly they just realize, oh, what if your parents are are supervillains? <laughs> you just didn't know it. I it, think it's I've really, seen a preview or something for it. Yeah, I haven't seen the show. I'm just a big fan of the comic book. Yeah. So, um, yes. This week, we are once again headed to YouTube. Why? Because Daddy Drinks. <laughs> Look, this is a really difficult time for me, the holidays. Yeah. Uh, and more so now that I'm uh, the receiving manager. So Daddy Drinks, yada, yada, yada. Now we have a YouTube playlist, which is this week's homework assignment, a playlist of Japanese game shows. Yes. <laughs> And I think this is the first homework that has caused what's going to be long-term serious damage. Really? Yeah, I think so. 
So, yeah, I've been drinking a little bit more than usual. But, hey, I'm a receiving manager of a retail store chain, and it's fucking Christmas. So you're goddamn right I'm drinking a little bit more. (laughs) What it means to be a receiving manager. Being a receiving manager is repeatedly screaming, Jesus fucking Christ, I can't do this. It's too much quietly in your head ten times a day. Yes. Getting way too much overtime, usually by accident, driving home in serious pain, having a few beers in painful silence back at home, and sometimes having a hot bath with both bubbles and depression. Boom. Receiving managers! <laughs> so I'm drinking a little bit more. and But to clarify, I'm still a big-ass wuss when it comes to drinking. Yeah. Um, I want to save you from yourself. So... My drinking is, is, is I'm, my drinking a, a bit more is still no way close to Natasha's drinking. I don't know when she became a professional. <laughs> but like, I drink like my mom and suddenly I'm married to Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> it's amazing. It's incredible. She can down him. Yeah. So I was drinking and then I was on Twitter uh, and then I saw a clip of a game, an actual game, called Slippery Stairs. <laughs> yes. Which and is what started it off. Yeah, and I immediately had to go to everyone in the house and show them Slippery Stairs. And I showed, I showed everybody. And the thing that got me about Slippery Stairs is, how the fuck is the NFL still a thing? Yeah. When slippery stairs is an option. That was some competition. What the fuck? We're giving young men concussions, brain damage, irreparable brain trauma. We're killing our bright young men. And all this time, slippery stairs was an option. Yes. Here's how you play the game. Uh, You get these men, uh, take off their socks and shoes. You lube them up. You lube up the stairs. I just described an entire game show. Yes. Yes, Maxwell. Yes, man. It Just take the water. It's your water now. Go. It's your water. I'm not allowed to have things as a dad. So, <laughs> there, so there has to be a U.S. version of Slippery Stairs. We need to make this happen. Give it to Chris Hardwick. He already has seven shows. Yeah. I want him to do like a talking show after a show that shouldn't have it. <laughs> you know, like like talking Judge Judy, which happens after an episode of Judge Judy where he is live taking calls about this episode of Judge Judy yeah. or something like that, you know? <laughs> Slippery stairs. Yeah. So it, it would be Steve great for, for him to recap Slippery stairs. Fuck Steve Harvey. Mm. We should give it to Steve Harvey because he he would be the easiest person to get because he gets paid in neon suits and mustache cream. <laughs> well, that is just the truth. Yeah. Uh, what, Maxwell? I want to tell you my game that I described a long time ago. Okay, what is your game that Maxwell that you described a long time ago? Well, when I was watching YouTube, on when I was on my secret <clears throat> computer in my my underground lab. In your underground lab, I just searched up that there's a game called. <laughs> Take your time. Uh, you know. Climb, hiking, hike your house. Yeah, climb, hiking, hike your house. I love that game. Yeah. It's where you... Climb, hiking, hike your house? No, you like... Try to get climb all the way... To the climb. top of your house? Yeah. Oh, that's climb. a great game. That, yeah. That's a great game. And then you like... Oh, oh, and then you live there for the rest of your life. What an amazing game. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that that's already a game in Japan. But thank you for playing. It would have to be a so, game in Japan. 
<clears throat> yes, Maxwell. I mean, play on the roof when you get to the roof. Oh, you play on the roof when you get there. Gotcha. So I went through the entire house. I'm showing people slippery stairs. This video brings up a lot of questions. Why is the audience full of Japanese supermodels? Yes. What is up with the Chuck Jones cartoon sound effects? <laughs> the NFL's ratings be better if we added Chuck Jones cartoon sound effects. Uh, like someone I, gets I would say yes. Someone gets tackled and they're paralyzed. <laughs> side side note here Christians and uh, right wing republicards are boycotting the NFL because how dare NFL players cry and take a knee in protest of their God given rights to uh kill black people for no reason or whatever and so the nfl's ratings aren't the best and so christians are like look at this we're winning no (laughs) you're not fucking winning you're not doing this people just aren't watching the nfl anymore Mm -hmm. they're not the ratings aren't down because they dared question jesus yeah you fucktards. Yeah. So we, we didn't watch the yeah. NFL anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so um slippery stairs. Oh, oh, and I love the drama that unfolded in the clip where two people got to the top of the slippery stairs at the same time. Yes. But there can only be one, so one guy jumped on the other guy and rode him down, taking out everybody else. Yes, it was a strike. <laughs> Amazing. So I showed it to everyone. It, it, the last person I showed it to was Bella. I showed Bella Slippery Stairs, and she decided, hey, we just finished watching Slippery Stairs. I'm just going to let YouTube just take me after this video. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm just going to ride the currents of YouTube. And YouTube gave her a number of videos. And, of course, I had to end up watching it with her. It was a weekend, so she was staying up late. And then I was staying up late. Sure, I had to get up early the next morning. But, funny, Wall of Boxes. Yes. Wall of Boxes was fun. That was amazing. Just a bunch of, like, cardboard boxes. And you're on top of these boxes. And then you, you pick a number. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the wall and then they turn it around and each number behind each number is a different thing that will try and take out your boxes right they might be like something lame like a woman and volleyball or it might be something amazing like a football team yes and and i and so like i I loved slippery stairs and i loved wall of boxes but then we were watching all these different Japanese game shows, and the funny thing is, I started thinking about SNL. Okay. I specifically, specifically, I started thinking about the SNL skit, the Japanese game show skit that they did, where Mike Myers is a Japanese man, and it's a game show, like a trivia show, and Chris Farley is a contestant, but he doesn't speak Japanese. Uh huh. And he has no idea what he's doing. And eventually he starts freaking out because uh, the other two contestants, they guess a question wrong and they have to kill themselves. <laughs> like freaking out like, Jesus Christ, I just thought this was a, a, a talk show. I was coming here with my wife, Barbara. <laughs> Jesus, God. So I was thinking about this skit. Yeah. And I said to Bella, you know what? I bet there's... You know what? We should make up a game where if you get the question wrong, you get hit in the nuts. Yes. And then I think it was Bella that said, they probably have that. <laughs> and they and did. Said, <laughs> and then I said, yeah, probably in Japan, they have like... All their game shows are amazing. You know what? Let me just search. Uh, Japanese... 
game show it in nuts and god damn it there is a video video number three yeah oh yeah and then and then bella found out figured out a a, a supernatural reference because there's a specific episode where some demon or somebody I, Lucifer? It, no, was it, it was Lucifer? The trickster. It was the trickster. It was like some trickster god the demon trickster. something. Yeah. Like uh they're fucking he's it, fucking with the boys, Sam and Dean. And what he does is what was the name of that John Ritter movie where he gets sucked into the satellite dish? Oh sucked into a satellite dish. Yeah, I have it, no it, it, idea. It was, yeah, he gets sucked into a satellite dish, but it's like a satellite dish from hell. And he, he keeps going into these different TV shows, but they're like <coughs> demon versions of classic TV shows. The only one that I specifically remember, the only one that I specifically remember is it was a, a Wayne's World parody, but it was like uh, Wayne's Underworld and it, it was Wayne and Garth, but they were demons. Really? No, I I, I know. Uh, it was a really bad movie. It was really, really bad, and there's it, there's no way that it's watchable now. But anyway, because John Ritter, like God, yeah. But but basically, that is the plot of an episode of Supernatural. So there's this like trickster demon god, they, they, they demon to person, the and so the demon is fucking with the boys. So they send them, in, they send the boys into these various TV show TV shows. Okay. And one of them is a is like a like a like a medical drama called Doctor Sexy, Sexy MD, and then they get sucked into a a a a, a, a uh, soap opera. Yes. And then there's like a, a a couple of commercials too. Like there's like a hemorrhoid commercial that I remember they get sucked into, and then they get sucked into a Japanese game show where if, if they they are asked. The demon is there asking them actual personal questions about their life, and if they get it wrong, they get hit in the nuts. But they can't in Japanese. Yeah, but they can't understand the questions because the questions are in Japanese. Sam can never have okay. Japanese. So, 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 yeah, that's basically uh, video number three on the list. This video is upsetting. Was well, upsetting. well, I, I gotta say, I, I, I laughed very hard when they brought out the kick boxer <laughs> yeah and, and I love the fact that one of the first questions is name as many ultra men as you can yes and i'm like oh my god i was meant to see this i was meant to see this this freaking <laughs> serendipity up the ass but it, the video upset me because like 70 percent of this 24 minute video is one mexican looking dude being a wuss oh my god yeah. i hate you Oh my. I hated that freaking guy. That guy. And he kept not getting hit in the balls. And so finally, I'm like, eventually, this guy has to, like, this guy has to, like, get taken down. And him. so they're doing that pirate game die. with the pirate uh, inside yeah. the barrel. You, and he, and, and there's no more left. There's only one left. So, of course, he's going to pull it and he's going to lose. So he takes his freaking time, like 15, 10, 12 minutes. He eventually freaking figuring gets the out, swords and then puts back in. Yeah, and then he gets a bunch of the swords and puts them back in because this Mexican-looking dude is like a wuss. It pissed me off so much. I was, like, <laughs> screaming at, at the TV. Yeah. So the fourth video isn't one that B Bella and I watched that night, but it's one that I added at the last second. That's the video where the disappe the disappearing floor video, or as I like to call it, saw the game show. Yes. Uh huh. The, the funny that thing was about fucked the, up, and it looked like a really long drop. Yeah. What well, What's really great about this video is the remarkable amount of people in the YouTube comments section that actually believe that these people fall to their deaths in a game show. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing! Like so many people, uh, uh, like how is this on YouTube when these people are dying? It's a <laughs> fucking game show. It's a fucking game show. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Japan. You're not gonna believe it when you finally get to tentacle porn. <laughs> the fourth video is an episode of MXC. 
yeah. most extreme elimination challenge, which ran on like Spike TV for five seasons. And it's remarkable. I found it, apparently every single solitary episode of MXC is available on YouTube. It's, so I've been th- watching- that show still just annoys me. It grates on my nerves. I mean, I, I, I was like, oh, okay, so that is the guy from Battle Royale. And then that was that was it. Yeah. That's why when I watch it, I put the volume way down because I do not want to hear the stupid things that they add to the show. I want to watch the actual show, but yeah. I can't find the actual show. So I will watch this American 20 minute version of the show. It's the closest thing that I have. Uh huh. So it, it, NXC is a much better episode when you put the volume down to like four. Uh, I, so I'm sure it is. Much- Cause if you, you know, Anything that would prevent you from hearing their jokes, because their yeah. jokes are fucking horrible. Yes, they are. They are absolutely horrible. Maxwell's and, told better jokes. Yeah, yeah. Maxwell tells better jokes. Yes. So, uh, MXC is a, an American bastardized uh, take on an '80s game show called Takeshi's Castle, and it's hosted by. Beat Takeshi, who uh, is the teacher from Battle Royale. And he was like the emperor king who owned this castle. And the entire game show is uh, an army of people invading the castle. Uh, okay. And they have to go through these various obstacles until eventually the one thing they never show on MXC one person will get to the castle and get to beat Takeshi and have to like fight him somewhere. Yeah. But I've, so I've been watching a lot of MXC and here's the thing that gets me. Uh huh. I hope that beat Takeshi got money from ABC's wipeout. 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 ABC. A game show, uh, John Henson, and uh, the big balls, the big red balls. It was uh, it was on ABC from 2008 to 2014. They did 149 episodes, and essentially, it's just an American version of fucking Takeshi's Castle. The specific <laughs> episode of MXC that I picked, I picked because oh my god, like most of this game show, they literally just put on a. Uh, in a field that they owned in LA and added big red balls to it. It's basically (laughs) the wipeout was just Takeshi's castle. I hope to God that that wipeout had to pay some money. Slippery stairs though, man, that it actually, it actually started getting exciting. (laughs) Yeah, it it did. Like you watch and you go, Oh, this is stupid. Oh my God, this is stupid. But then you really start watching it and you're like, Oh my God, this is amazing. (laughs) Slippery stairs. Yeah. They, they are getting actually hurt here. Yeah. So that is it for homework this week. And we legitimately and sincerely. So, Sing legitimately. Yes. We honestly hope that your eyes, minds, and ba- bike locks have all been suitably opened. And speaking of locks, do you remember wheel locks, Bunny? Yes. Remember in like the 80s or 90s when everyone had their wheel locked? What happened to those? I haven't seen those in forever. Yeah, it, yeah, it was just like a locking lug nut mm-hmm. on your tire. Unless you're talking about yeah. the club that no, locked it, your steering wheel. Well, that too. It was the last time I saw the club. <laughs> I was also I was also thinking the other day, do people still have like police those things you put on your dashboard that could that would like start beeping when a police was nearby? The fuzz busters? Yeah. I don't know. They must. I haven't, I haven't seen those. I imagine nowadays you could like download something on your phone or something. <laughs> yes. You probably yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. Bella, 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 you're at like an eight. I need you at like a five. Never! I need you at like a four. No! Ah, 
But don't think you're getting out of here that easily, senorita. Don't forget next week's homework assignment. And for next week. Okay. Bunny, do you trust me? Oh, this never ends well. <laughs> I, 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 no, have no, just... I have no choice, so I trust you. Okay. No, no, we're not watching... Um, Doki Doki? We're, we're not watching uh, 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 Glitter Force, Force Doki Doki Season 2. No, we are not doing no. that. Will we eventually be doing that? Probably, yes. but not right now. <laughs> Next week is literally going to be one of the greatest homework assignments we've ever done. Okay. I've been sitting on this for a while. I am so excited about this. Okay. So, Jesus, can you stop making the kids cry, Bella? <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, Jesus I'm Christ, you're too. a trickster god. Stop it. Okay? okay? Now, I have already gotten all of the kids to agree to watch this with me and record audio commentary. What? I have been slowly but surely oh, getting okay. all of the I have been slowly but surely getting all the kids to agree to this for the last two weeks. Yes. What? Oh, no. Next week, for Christmas, we are watching the worst animated TV holiday special of all time. Bunny? Yes. Words cannot express how fucking excited I am for this. (laughs) So damn excited. I will be recording audio commentary. With with the it was difficult to get the teens uh, signed up yeah. on board, but I did. This animated special has a story behind it, but and and it's best, but it's best if you if you just go into it blind. In fact, I I will I I am struggling not to talk about it right now. Okay, so so you will see a lot of reaction videos. You will see a lot of commentary videos. You'll see a lot of 20, 30 minute looks into the history of this special. You'll find so many articles, so many uh, stories about this. Don't read any of them. Okay. Okay. Go into this blind. Trust me, you'll be better off. I won't mention it anymore. I'm going to try and save it for next week. It is so difficult. So next week, we will be watching the 42-minute long 2002 animated TV special that appeared on air in select markets entitled The Rhapsody Street Kids Believe in Santa. Here's the crazy thing. Rhapsody is spelled R A P. S I T T I E, and I-E. no one knows, and no one knows why. Street kids believe in Santa. Yes, it's on YouTube. After being lost for almost a decade, I still have Skate Town USA, which has also been lost. And we yeah. must get to you one day. Oh my, I'm so excited. I haven't been this excited since probably Santa Claus and the Ice Cream Bunny. <laughs> but this is going to be so huge. Rhapsody Street Kids Believe, believe in, Santa. in Santa. Yes, that is homework next week. It is going to be epic. Has, has Santa disavowed it? Oh my god, the grandmother. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm I'm <laughs> You are going to love this. Knowing you, Bunny, you might you you might end up watching it like two or three times. Okay. This is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> really building it up. Yes, he is. I am. This is so good. I can't wait to 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 watch it with Emerald and Amber. I imagine <laughs> I imagine I'm going to get a lot of uh, of uh, audio of just Emerald saying, what the fuck? 
but I'm not going to mention any more. Okay. That's next week. Be sure and tune in next week for a very special homework with the Pope on Film podcast. Yes. And cut.